Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Ask Jimmy Smith. Today I'm excited to be coming back to you with another video on artificial intelligence and specifically seven artificial intelligence productivity tools that you didn't know you needed. With the recent opening of ChatGPT back in November of 2022, there have been a slew of a bunch of different artificial intelligence Chrome extensions that have come out as well as businesses that are built on the back of ChatGPT and the way that that works. Now, if you're interested in my videos that I've done on chat GPT from an Amazon and e-commerce seller perspective, you can check those out on my channel, but I'm excited for the new productivity tools that are coming out. I have seen comments on my videos talking about the fear revolving around artificial intelligence. And while I totally get it and I have some reservations as well, there are some amazing new inventions that have come out, software companies that have come out to utilize artificial intelligence to help you from a productivity standpoint, no matter what type of business that you're in, or even if you're using them for personal use, it can be very helpful. And so today I've put together the seven of my most favorite options, as well as two bonus ones, if you wanna wait till the end, that aren't as productivity tools for the majority of people, unless you're doing video creation. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my first one, which is the YouTube summary with chat GPT. This is a Chrome extension. Again, as I'm talking about these new software companies and programs, they are newer. So I can't exactly talk about the reliability of them or even how uh, safe they potentially could be. However, if you're doing a Chrome extension, you can see that there are privacy practices posted, that kind of thing. And so I've seen a lot of people that love this. This is one I'm going to continue. But ultimately, this is one that I've seen be very helpful for a lot of different content creators, a lot of different people that spend a lot of time on YouTube. You can install this Chrome extension and it will create a summary of that video. The basics of how it works is that the Chrome extension transcribes the video into complete transcription of the whole entire video. And then it it connects to ChatGPT to get a summary of it, and then it tells you what that summary is and start using more and more. There's 20,000 plus users for this, and I will link these, all of the ones that I'm showing you today, in the description of this video. So that is the first one. The second option is Merlin, which I really enjoy. I think that this one has a lot of potential to it. It is free currently, and it's using OpenAI's ChatGPT to be able to add this to Chrome. And then from there, you can use this to summarize the content on any website, which I really love. It will create the whole entire summary of whatever article you're reading, or maybe it's a post of something. You can really use that quite extensively. It allows you to master complex Excel formulas and codes. And as it shows in the example here on their website, it is asking Merlin to write a Google Sheets formula to find a specific thing in a cell, and it spits out the formula. So it's using ChatGPT for that. The next thing that it shows is it will help you to write professional email replies. And this can be extremely helpful, even if you're in any type of business, or even if you're doing just things for from a personal perspective, you can have it write a reply to that specific email, edit it yourself and send it off. I really love the ability to do that to save you tons of time. Next thing is it can convert lengthy documents into a concise and shorter version. It can actually create bullet points for you, it uses an example of action points from a book, and then it gives those action points from that particular book. So you didn't have to read 200 plus pages of a book. It gave you the action points from it. So I really love that. Again, this is a chat GPT thing. So since it's built on the back of chat GPT, it is going to be limited to whatever knowledge that that software knows. But ultimately, as ChatGPT continues to grow, so will Merlin and these other uh, software programs that I'm about to show you. But Merlin can do so much more in terms of uh, generating new content ideas for marketing campaigns, solving coding problems, getting answers to any questions that your kid has, that kind of stuff. It can even help you uh, create a response to tweets that you want to respond to. If you can't think of a witty response to a particular tweet, you can use the Merlin extension to ask it to create a witty response to that particular tweet or any type of response to a certain tweet. The third option is called Jasper. Now this one does cost money if you wanna use it for any length of time. They do have a free plan so you can get a demo and start for free. But this is the one that I've seen be the most advanced in what they're doing. It's not necessarily built off the back of chat GPT as far as I can tell or as far as I know. I know that there are a lot of content creators that use it for art and images, marketing, copy, sales, emails, SEO content, writing blogs, Facebook ads, web content, etc. It works in 29 different languages, takes only a couple minutes to sign up, you can try it for free. And it helps you to create social media content, advertising content, WordPress articles, emails, it'll help with your Shopify website, art, etc. This has so many different uses that I believe Jasper will continue to grow and grow. This is kind of the leading software company that I've seen whenever I've been doing some research, I'm excited to potentially play around with it a little bit more. And again, the links will be below I don't have affiliate links at this 
point for anything. So if you just want to check it out, you can find the links there. You can Google search it yourself, but it does so many things. There is a cost for this and there is a business option if you're doing AI content, if you want to create more blogs. But the way that Jasper works is it tries to double check that it won't be any risk of plagiarism because I know that there's a lot of people that are concerned with AI. I know Google hates any type of AI generated content that's getting posted on websites and they actually rank against it. So Jasper has a few different tools within it to help make sure that this isn't something that has been plagiarized and that it isn't something that's been duplicated in any way. And so I really love that. However, I will also say anything that you get from any artificial intelligence, if you're trying to post it out into the public, then you want to double check. You want to make sure and edit those things. So you're not just blindly posting things that this AI creates for you. But this is a Chrome extension. It's also its own desktop. So you can use that its own cloud based software. So you can log in and use it through there. But it is an amazing software platform and program that I've seen a lot of people use. There's over 100,000 people using it right now, create better content 10 times faster according to their website. And so I'm really excited for what Jasper can bring if you're willing to pay for that. The fourth option is called, I don't know if it's Tome or Tome or whatever, but this is an AI software that will help create presentations on any type of thing that you wanted to create. It will do AI generated images and slides for storytelling that is unique and creative and it's beautifully designed for any type of a story that you want to tell. So if you're trying to pitch a product, if you're trying to create a presentation on how to do pottery, if you're trying to create a presentation on almost anything, you can sign up for free. You get a certain amount of credits for free and then you can try it out and have it create presentations for you. You can edit those presentations. You can remove the images if you don't like the AI generated images. And Tome, that's what I'm calling it. I really think is the future of what presentations will continue to look like, especially if you are using it for any type of a teaching setting, something that is very much more basic. If you are trying to use it for a product pitch or a business pitch, it's going to be a little bit more difficult considering the fact that it won't know all of the ins and outs of your business. But I think that it gives you a great start for whatever presentations that you're trying to create in just about any industry that it can find information on from an artificial intelligence standpoint. So the fifth option is called Superhuman. And this is actually an email client that connects to your email and uses the power of artificial intelligence to triage your emails, not from what is spammy as much as what is most important for you to respond to. Now within that, it really kind of, as it says, it reverses the same technology that's used by cutting edge spam filters so that it detects and highlights your most important email. That way, any emails that come to your inbox, you can focus on those things first. Additionally, it has read statuses, which I really like, similar to what you might see in iMessage or WhatsApp or Messenger. They bring them to your email so that you can see when people read your emails and it allows you to respond to them at the right time, allows you to close deals faster. If you see somebody read something then and they respond, you may be able to do it much quicker using Superhuman. Also, it gives you the ability to follow up on time every time with your email. So if you want it to help you send an email at a specific time, it will remind you to do that. You can also tell it when you want it to send. So let's say you're working on emails on Monday at two in the morning, but you want it to send Monday at 8.55 in the morning. You can have it do that for you and do that automatically. And so I love the AI triaging of emails so that you focus on what's the most important. You can also mute emails. You can come back to the different conversations. It will suggest shortcuts for you that make it much faster to respond. It will even help you to create shortcuts for your most common responses, whether you're scheduling calendars or you're doing anything that is a common repetitive task. Superhuman is something that you could install into your email and really get good at. They say on their website, it saves you hours per week. And if you use it for your teams, it can save multiple hours per week if you start adding up however many people are on your team that would be using it from a business perspective. The sixth option is called Summarize. Now you can see this is a Chrome extension and Summarize has only nine reviews right now, but there are 7,000 users. And so Summarize also does something that Merlin also does, which is that it will summarize content on a web page. All you have to do is highlight it, click on the extension. It will give you a summary from ChatGPT. I have seen some of the reviews and they say that if ChatGPT is down or slow, it might take a little while. But if you've got a long article that may be a 10, 15, 20 minute read, you can highlight it, ask 
ask it to summarize it and you will get a response for a quick summary of what that article is talking about. So I highly recommend just checking this one out because it can be a huge time saver if you're someone that goes through articles. I really enjoy the summary focused items, especially the YouTube summary ones and summarize here for articles and blog posts, emails, etc. I think that that will be a huge help moving forward from a productivity standpoint so you don't have to read through all this time and waste a bunch of time. Now the seventh and final option before I get to my last two bonuses is called Deep L Translator. I've seen different articles and posts about how Deep L Translator is better than Google Translate. And so you can type in anything and it will translate it whatever language you want and also give you alternatives if you need those alternatives for whatever reason. But there are pro options for this translator. I think from a business perspective, if you've got content of any type or if you're emailing suppliers in a different country, if you're trying to purchase products or something overseas that have a different language that they speak, you can use this pretty heavily to make sure that you're having good conversations. I would take the English version of whatever I wanted to type and send to somebody else that speaks a different native language. I would post the English, also post the Spanish translation so that they could read both just in case there was any type of a mistranslation. But DeepL Translator is very good and I've seen a lot of positive reviews about it. If you have anything where you're communicating with people overseas that have a different native language, DeepL.com is a very good option from an artificial intelligence standpoint. And they've got a bunch of different reasons. They've got an API that you can build into your websites, that kind of stuff, and different apps as well that run off of it. So they're really doing a lot to translate text as well as translating files, totally complete files for your business, for your personal, whatever it is that you need. DeepL is the one that I would recommend. Now for the two bonus ones, this is gonna be for anybody that is interested in creating videos, short form, long form content. If you do videos or webinars or Zoom calls and you're trying to take those recordings and edit them down for whatever reason, or you wanna take out filler words, these next two are the ones that I recommend. First one is called Descript.com. Uh, and so what Descript will allow you to do is you can actually use this to record your video. You can edit it by script and scene. And what I really love is that they will go through and remove any filler words automatically for you. So they'll remove the ums, the uhs, the you knows, etc. I know that I have some issues with that in my own videos at times. And so uh, this is something that's very intriguing to me, but also they will overdub. Now this one's a little freaky. So if you're somebody who's very cautious about artificial intelligence, maybe skip ahead a little bit, but this will create a shockingly, according to their website, realistic clone of your voice and then record new words that you type in. So if you realize that you misspoke and said that you were making a chicken dish, but you meant a vegan chicken style dish, then you can type in those words exactly where you'd want it to be and it will overdub your video with a voice that sounds like yours. That is freaky, but it's pretty cool if you think about the uses from an artificial intelligence standpoint, the uses for creating content and creating recordings, whatever it may be that you're doing on video or podcasting, this can be a huge help. Additionally, they also have stock media, if you're trying to create videos and add those in, uh, you can even edit your videos by just deleting text. So instead of editing videos, what I've done originally with my YouTube videos is I would go through, I'd listen, I'd delete and chop out the video parts that I didn't want, that I messed up, or maybe I just made a mistake and misspoke. Uh, but what you can do here is you can just delete the text where that part of the video was, and it will remove the video for you. And so if you're doing any type of video editing, that is a huge piece that I believe is going to be the future of editing for many video editors, as well as any type of content creators or marketers or business people that do videos for their team. The ninth and final one, the second bonus one is similar. It's called Pictory, but it is a video marketing toolkit. So you can create short branded video snippets from your long form videos. Use AI to get your content working for you by automatically extracting the golden nuggets hidden deep within your Zoom, Teams, and webinar recording. Perfect for sharing across your social media platforms. So you can actually take, I could take this long form video, upload it to Pictory, and the AI will automatically extract short form videos that then I could upload to my social media accounts. And so I really love the opportunity here. I think this will become part of the future. There's always more that can be done from the perspective of content creators doing their own editing and specifically making videos for social media platforms. But if you're somebody that likes to streamline these things, using artificial intelligence in this way can be a huge help. Additionally, if you have a script and you're trying to make sales videos for products, you're trying to even make YouTube videos on a whole channel, you can turn your scripts that you've written into uh, sales videos or videos in general that are overdubbed by a narrator that basically you just upload the script and it'll create the video for you. It gives you a whole option 
for creating video content if you don't like to be on camera. You can transform blog posts into engaging videos on autopilot. You can add captions automatically um, because that helps tremendously from a social media reach. There's so many options with Pictory as well as with Descript, depending on your video editing needs. I highly recommend those. So those are the seven and really nine artificial intelligence productivity tools you didn't know that you needed. As more of these things come out, as I get more experience with some of these, I may be doing deeper dive videos. Let me know if there are any other AI productivity tools that you recommend. Put those in the comments below. If you have any reviews for any of the ones that I gave on this video, please also comment that below. But ultimately, I hope that this video helped you and I hope that you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.